Hello guys, welcome to the Compare Group. So in that today lecture we understand the logistic regressions. Fine. As we know that the linear regression assumes that responsible variable y is the quantitative, right? So there's many situations where response variable instead of quantitative, there should be a qualitative just like a categorical variable, just like eye color is a qualitative responses like true and false is a qualitative so in this case how we can calculate the dependency and relationship between the input and output variable so in order to study this thing we will use the process of classifications and predicting a qualitative response for an observing can be referred as in classifying the observation which involve assigning observation to a category or a class so coming to the logistic regressions so we are we was for an example we want to know the credit data default data who are the credit card customer they are default so for this we use the library ISLR for having data so this is the default library of R which is open source so to load data you can use this command library ISLR if that ISLR is not installed please install that package ISLR and for installing packages I have a different video please go through that how to install that package so library ISLR is fine it is loaded now I have to attach the default data on from that directory I have test that data. I will names the data name of the variable so I can get to know the name of the variables. These variables are student, parents, and income. There are three variables. Fine. So if you want to check the dimension of that default data, you can check when them default. There is ten thousand total rows and four other variables. <coughs> So, so to find the descriptive summary of that data set, you can use summary of that default. Fine. As this is already an existing array, you don't need to create a different different model for that. So we can find the descriptive analysis of that data set of default. That default student balance minimum third quarter and everything's fine. Hmm. So we can also create a scatter plot for that. Select one plot balance income. Let's plot. So this is our scatter plot. You can find that. The red color is default. So, by initial analysis, we can see that for those who have the higher the balance, the more the chance of default. The person who has the less balance, the less chance of the default. So, this is not the clear way to understand who are the default on the basis of income and balance. So, coming to the next level. <coughs> use box plot to understand more in detail so i have created that box plot using that command that's a default so these are the box plot and these are default and balances so who are default are here and who are not default here so here also we can see person balance low having default are yes so these are not the clear stating what can be the possible scenario. so mm, so what we can do now in order to understand more logically more deeply so we have to fit in a logistic relation model using the predictor balance the function GLM that fit generalized linear model, a class of model that include logistic regression as a special case. 
the function theorem is a similar to that linear model function as such that we have to pass an argument family by number in order to fit the logic equations. So now I need to give argument. I need to pass that argument by now we here in order to fit that. So I need to call that model one in order to get that detail. So these are the details which I get to know from this one. Fine. So now how to understand this all the things? I already did and discuss about that. So <clears throat> so you can see that these are the result which we are getting there. So we need to understand this thing very nicely. So p values all are similar things which we have seen, but more one thing add that is odd ratio. What is odd ratio? Odd ratio is the number of unfavorable chance to that event to the number of unfavorable chance to that event. Fine. So what we can see that we see the beta is 0 0.0045. Fine. <coughs> For this one balance. And so balance is associated with increase in the probability of default. To be precise, one unit increase in balance is associated with the increase in the logs odd of default by 0.05. Also know the estimated odds ratio one unit increase in balance is 1.005 indicate that every unit increase in balance or defaulting increase by 1.05 so you can see increase in one unit of balance that default will increase by 1.05 so many aspects of the logistic equations are also in the various <coughs> things so <coughs> coming to the next thing we can how to interpret that coefficient tables? To estimate the intercept in the table is typically not of interest. The main purpose is to adjust the average weighted probability to the proportion of on, on the data. So, qualitative predictors. Hmm. So, go to the again. What we will do here? Plotting a fitting logistic equation here. Plot this effort here. Then it will signify this point there. Mm, so these are the graph which we can get for the default ones. This one, this one. So what this indicate? Orange and blue oh, will one more command to understand nicely what we will do. Okay, the red benches line which I was not created, you can create it. So, what that signifies that orange and blue solid line represent the average default rate for the student non student. This is a clear function of credit card balance. The negative provision for the student the multiple logistic equation that's a fixed value of balance. And value and fine so the person who are having non-student are less chance to be default as compared to non-student so confusion matrix coming to the continuum note we have fitted the logistic regression model field to fit 10,000 training samples is to now the yielding train is the error rate is 2.68. This can get to know from this regression uh, <coughs> from this one, right? So, this sound like lower rate, but 
to give it must be over tips so point to remember is first of all training error it should be easily lower than test error which are the reality of quantity of interest in other words you might expect this classifier to perform worse if used to a predict whether or not new set of individual will default the reason is that it basically adjusts the parameter of our model to bear on the training data the higher the ratio of parameters p to the number of sample a uh, more the expect overfitting errors so this are the confusion matrix confusion matrix is like understand this thing <coughs> predicted default status no yes and true default status no and yes you can see these are the fine 9627 and 105 what what about this predicted default status is 228 and the true default status is yes so these are the error which we get so this is all called sensitivity sensitivity is what 105 that is actual yes yes upon total yes yes who are actually default so we are getting sensitivity of 31% and the specificity is 99.59 that is 9627 no no upon total so these are the total error rate which we created 228 and 40 so we can find the error rate okay so by this we can understand the true logic to understand logic regression method so coming to the new thing we can create a fitting a logistic regression model using the predict student fine so in order to do that we'll do this thing default equal to student and data equal to default so what we found we have created a one more model and so these are the coefficient and degree of freedom fine so what we have created find that these are the new values right the so number of fisher scoring station is 6 so fitting a logistic regression model using a predictor balance now i will use balance and call that function so this is expression from the balance now Hmm. So you can even calculate the probability for this thing. So you can use this thing in order to ensure the output of the form P by N S rather than other information such as logic. So this is the. And if you want to find the first predicted probability, you can use the function. So these are the predicted probability of this. things so these are the logistic regression which you want to know okay even you can call zero r square for that library i think this need to be installed at this not to learn this thing thank you thank you for watching our video